every episode we are hanging on to a playoff spot for dear life but today that changes welcome back to another episode of be a pro with rostislav nastrov if you missed the last episode rusty scored probably one of the nastiest goals of the year oh spin -o. spin around one <gasps> We also continued our simming, which went absolutely terrible to move the season along. And now we are here. So the Seattle Kraken still are hanging on to that playoff spot. The good news is the Pacific is absolute trash right now. As you see, we have 46 points. The LA Kings have 36 points. And we are going to be taking them on in today's episode. First of all, I should probably mention I apologize for not having many videos last week. I was so sick. I was down and out. But we are finally back. Now to represent that, I was sick. We missed some games. Games, we're gonna sim our first game here versus the st louis blues then we have a big rematch versus rusty's old team in the la kings we're just gonna treat this game like rusty was out of the lineup and we'll see if the boys can come on geo another big game coming up we really need you to take this one over you think you can do that every time i step on the ice it's kind of messing with my chill <laughs> Sit down, Geo. All right, now that that's over, we're going to start our game versus the Blues. We're already down 2-0 in the first period. We're down 3-0 in the second period. And 4-1, the final score. Great. That's what happens when Rusty is not on the ice. We get double outshot. We lose 4-1. What a disaster. But that game did not matter because now we are taking on the LA Kings, our old friends, and the team that we won the Stanley Cup with. Let's hop in to this big rivalry. It feels good to be back. We're happy, we're healthy, we are back on the grind, and we are putting everything on the line in this one. Let's get it started right. You know, last episode, we scored some nasty goals. Actually, we didn't really score nasty goals, but we set up some nasty goals. Also, please do not tell me that Vanacek is back in the net. I believe that that is him. Vanacek! Hey, the man made it first save. Let's go, baby. All right, let's go here, boys. I'm loving this first line, by the way. Yanni, Gord, Eberly, and myself, we have been absolutely buzzing together. They got... Holy, sit down. Oh, what a pass. I'm going to go right to the net. We're going to try to get a feed, and then we're going back door. Let's go. Okay. Sometimes you just throw the puck to the net, and good things happen. As Rusty looking for that back door, I was looking for that back door no look to Yanni Gord, and instead it bounces off about three skates and ends up in the back of the net. Rostislav Nastrov, first goal of the game, and it is a big one. Let's go! All right, there's there's no better feeling in hockey than scoring those big goals that you do not deserve to get in the slightest. You know. Data check. Dude, they had a free 2 on 0, almost a 3 on 0. I don't know where our defense was. I was at a loss of words. But Vanacek comes in with the save. You know who I want to dangle? Drew Doughty. That man made me so... Kind of got dangled. That man made me so angry. The between the legs. The amount of museums I had to go to. The amount of times that I was called out every single game last year in our be a pro series was too much to handle he was don't get me wrong geo is annoying but dowdy was probably the worst teammate that i have ever had patrick line a leading the league in goals would you look at that rusty we still have some work to do but we're making our way into the top 10. <laughs> big hit from rusty we're gonna right at the wing let's go here Everly with an un oh, unnecessary dangle, but it kind of works. And Rusty snipes it. What is going on? Another beautiful nick from Rusty. I think every other time we try this, I'm shooting that puck, and it is just going nine feet past the net. But today, something different is happening. Something's clicking. All right, Rusty's playing angry. Let's go. Also, big shout out to Everly. I completely stole that puck and stole his glory as uh, he tried to go between his legs at the blue line, and I just came up and snatched it. So, Everly, you're, you're a team player, brother. I appreciate you. My goal for this episode is, first of all, of course, we're going to try to get the hat trick. Second of all, I'm going to try to stay healthy. All right, so I'm going to go for some super short shifts. Right when that bar hits yellow, I'm thinking about heading to the, heading to the bench. So, we're going to go for one hit on Dowdy. 
Okay, Dowdy Dodges. That's fine. We're going to get off here before we get down to the ice. I know it's a bit of a Marshawn change, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, Rusty is playing center on the power play. There's literally one second left. I don't know what coach is thinking. I think I have literally 50 face-offs. But we did kind of win the draw. We take those. All right, minute and a half here, boys. We're going to try to get... I, I literally just mentioned how I didn't want to get injured. And what happens a second later, I'm on the ice on my back looking like I'm not getting up. Not like this, not like this, not like... There was a scrum in the corner, and then our other defender was just nowhere to be found. We got three guys piled up in the corner, and we somehow lose the battle. They come out on top with it. And just like that, going into the second period, we are going to be up only one. Okay, I'm mostly just glad that we have survived that period. We started off so hot. One mistake in the corner. They get a puck on net, and uh, we know Vandercheck. He lets in about one in every three, so he was due to let one in. Okay, dumb penalty by I think that was Everly. Just slashed Dowdy's hands out for no reason whatsoever. Let's grab this puck and not get scored on on this PK. I don't think Rusty's been getting any PK minutes, though. What a oh, what a pickup from Gio. All right, Gio, I know we had our differences, but feed me this puck. Rusty's going right up the middle. We're going for a one-hander. A little bit too much of an angle there. For some reason, that puck, anytime I go for a one-hander, the puck just literally goes 90 degrees to the right. All right, we got to get the boys going a little bit here. I'm taking a full... I was going to do a full, like, McDavid curl into a, into a body, but we could not connect. All right, Rusty is going to get a big hit. <gasps> Vanacek! What, what was that save for Vanacek? Why did he go to a pad stack? It kind of worked, though. Rusty! Right up the middle. If we would have scored for beta tech on that, I would have been dead. All right, we got to get this Hattie for Rusty still. Let's keep buzzing in these corners. Big hit coming. Yes. Elbow? Are you out of your mind, ref? I went in and bumped. I barely even bumped the man. It was no charge. It was clean. It was two steps. They call an elbow? Little... And we don't even get a replay. Come on. What are the odds that a puck goes in the back of the net? I'm saying it's a five on three. Guaranteed puck in the back of the net. All right, we at least survived one of them. Uh, I completely missed that puck. That goal would have 100% been on me. Nice little clear there. We should probably get off the ice, let the PK unit do their work, and then we will be back out there shortly. All right, 30 seconds, and we have full bars. This is what dreams, this is what dreams are made of. Everly, what is that shot? Okay, 85 total penalty minutes for Rostislav Nashrov. I will say that is a that is a rough look. I've been forced into, I think, six fights this year against my will. Like fights that I didn't want to have, fights off clean hits. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, let's go, Rusty, let's go, baby. This man gets bodied to the ground, still makes his way to the net, and still buries it. Rostislav Nashrov, a hat trick. Look at the cut from Rusty. He's got two guys on his back. He gets bumped to the ice. It does not matter. He still gets the job done. Four seconds. That will do it. 3-1. Going into the third intermission. Things are finally looking up. <gasps> what a poke. All right, boys. I told you it was Rusty versus Dowdy this game. I don't care if we hit him from behind. That's a... Is that a clean hit? That's a clean hit. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Rusty. One more. Rusty. Two. Another one. Irving sit. Okay, Irving didn't sit down, but still good, good three hits there from Rust. Ew, what a cut there. We're gonna go up the boards. We got Dowdy in a blender. The one hit. I want to do that spin move to the one hand so bad. I'm gonna do something dumb here. All right, I'm throwing this puck to the corner just so I can kill Drew Ready? All right, Irwin. All right, Irwin, I see you. Go here, Rust. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting up. I knew I wasn't getting up. I, I absolutely, the second I saw that hit, I knew I was not getting up. I have been targeted yet again. Every single time that we take on this team, something happens. Rusty, just a simple breakout, a clean play, a knee on knee collision. Rusty's holding his knee. I think he's down and out. It was either his knee or his head. I couldn't tell. At least Gio finally stood up for us. Despite our differences in the locker room, our captain has made a... All right, maybe, maybe you don't sell it, Gio. I'm down on the ice, literally dying next to you. And just like that, we know that, uh, yep, Rusty is not getting back into the game. So we will have to watch that replay back. I think that there was certainly some vicious intent in terms of that hit. Rusty was cutting across. He took the knee to the chest, knee on knee. Maybe he even bonked his head as he hit the ice as well. All in all, a hit that did not need to be made. 
by a team that is out of this game. These absolute clowns, the LA Kings. Listen, we won a Stanley Cup with them, but I show absolutely no love to them. All right. If we lose this game, I am never playing Be A Pro again. You heard it here first. Let's go. Gio and the boys got the job done. I know we've had some issues with Gio in the past, but the man has finally stood up for me. We got the momentum going. We won the fight, knocked him out, and we have come out on top. A 3-1 lead. Rusty scoring all three goals. Sometimes you're better lucky than good. And today, that is the case. A big win from the Seattle Kraken against a division rival when we needed it most. All right, we got news from James here that we are going to be good for the next game. So that is good. Obviously, in year one, I don't think you can actually get injured. But we were kicked out of the game. We still finished strong. Rusty with three goals. And now it is time to sip. If you didn't know, we do five sims after each game. We're going to try to speed this season along. Now, so far, we have never won three of the five games. Will that happen today? That remains to be seen. We have Chicago. We have San Jose, the Blues, Florida, and Nashville. So some good teams in the mix. We're going to go ahead and sim up to this day and see what goes down in this one. A 4-1 loss to the terrible Chicago Blackhawks. And now Gio is chirping us yet again. How does the Jazz show sound? How do you think, Gio? How do you think? A 4-3 loss to the San Jose Sharks. We did get a win versus the Blues, and we are going to get a skill point as well. That's a W. We should probably mess with that next episode. Gio came to interrupt us again. I uh, want to go on a yacht cruise with some of the guys. Never a bad time to be on the water in Florida. So our dreams of going 3-2 in the sim, out the window. We already lost, lost, one versus the Blues, lost versus the Panthers, and here we are versus the Nashville Predators. We're going to sim this period by period, add a little bit of suspense. All right, period number one, 2-0 lead. 2-1, 3-2. Holy, I saw that number go up on the Nashville side, and I thought we were losing it. Okay, another 2-3 and three sim. So every single time that we sim, we end up going 2-3. and three. That trend continues, but we should still be in a good spot in terms of the playoffs. And that we are as the gap is continuing to grow. So the Seattle Kraken with 52 points. We are hanging on to that wild card spot. The Anaheim Ducks only 39 points. So we are looking good. Obviously, a lot can happen throughout the course of the season. But right now, things are looking up. So that is going to do it for this one. Rusty continues to buzz, but unfortunately, his team does not. We have a negative record, but we are still hanging on to that playoff spot. We may need to make some changes down the line just to secure it. But for now, we are good to go. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. More Rusty videos coming every single week. Hit the video with the like to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. I'm Nasher, and I'm out. Peace.